We're here at Max Pro Technologies today to show you how to change the tooling in the die head of a coning threading machine. Uh, if you're changing sizes uh, of the tubing that you're running, you would need to change these die chasers or if the die chasers are worn out and you're just going to replace them with new. So the first thing you do is push back on the trip plate, pull it forward a little bit, and then you can access the spring-loaded lever on the side of the die head. Okay, the next thing you do is reach back here with a screwdriver or a rod and push in on this spring-loaded lever arm that's there. And that will allow you to push this trip plate back even further. At that point, you can remove the die chasers from the head. When you replace the die chasers into the die head, the die chasers are numbered one through four, and also the, the die head has numbers one through four. So you want to make sure that you replace the, the chasers into the right slot. With the pin facing back, push it down and you'll feel it snap into place. Once all the die chasers are in place, simply pull the trip plate forward and it locks them back into place. After you do that, then you're ready to go to the back side here and, and set the die chaser to uh, the proper size. To adjust the die chasers to the correct size, the first thing you need to do is, in the back side here, loosen up the set screw. You don't have to take it out, just loosen it up. And then using the Tommy bar supplied with the machine, you can turn this, this sleeve in the back one way or the other to open or close the die head. And what you want to do is you want to adjust it so the setting tool that's supplied with the tooling package fits snugly in the die chasers. So you just move this one way or the other to get it open or close so it's just snug on this setting tool. And each tooling package has its own size of setting tool. This gets you very close to the proper size. You may have to slightly adjust when you run your first tube to open or close this to cut a deeper thread or a shallower thread to get it to the correct size. But this gets you very close. After you get the die head set to the proper size there, then you just retighten the set screw. And then you're ready to run your first tube. Okay, to change the uh, coning blades when you're changing sizes or when you're changing worn blades, you have the set of coning blades with the part number etched on them and you have a flathead set screw. Place the blade in the pocket and with the Allen wrench supplied, tighten it down to hold the blade in place. There's two blades on the coning head, one on each side, mounted with one screw on each side. If you need any more information, you can visit our website listed down below.